Aloha everyone! I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. In this tutorial we will be working on this tanner. We are absolutely in love with it. We decided to leave it unpainted so we will show you the whole process of cleaning, sanding, um, top coating. So um, let's do it! Let's do it! Let's do it! For this piece we use the 60, 80 and 400 grit. We have a range of sanding pads starting with 60 which is the lowest so it's the most abrasive and as the numbers goes up the sanding pads is getting finer and finer, our finest one is 400. The middle ones you need to pick depending on what kind of projects you are working on. I mostly use an 80 grit to remove the varnish, but I switch to 60 on the stubborn spots. Once I remove the um, varnish, I finished the drawer with a 400 sandpaper grit, which is super fine, so it will leave the wood super smooth. We use the circular sanding machine on the straight surfaces like sides and the top and now it should go really quick. Of course we switch to a 400 grit to smooth out the wood. I hoovered the dust, spider webs and whatever needed to be hoovered prior to cleaning. The next step is cleaning the piece in and out with white lightening, Dixiebel furniture cleaner and an abrasive sponge. At the end, I rinsed it twice, only with water, to remove any leftover solution or any dirt. The wood is absolutely stunning when it's revealed, but in the end we decided to add some voodoo gel stain in au naturel shade, which will give a lighter tint and help us get rid of this orangey shade. I dumped the wood and I applied the gel stain all over the drawer. I added some more gel stain, more water at some point. I wiped the gel stain with a rug and afterwards I went again with the leftover stain I had on the brush and it's just perfect. I like how it looks applying it like this.
On the handles, I applied silver gilding wax with my finger. I applied it only on the half of the handle to look like a highlight and give a bit of shine to these old handles. I wiped the excess with a rug and that's it. I sealed the whole piece with three layers of gator hide, letting two hours drying time in between layers. Gator hide is a great water repellent, durable satin finish. I applied Best Mama Bata in orange groove using circular motions. Smells so so good, it's unbelievable. <laughs> After a few hours from applying, I wiped the excess with a piece of cloth and the wood now it's looking really really fresh and loved. And this is the final result. Thank you so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial of beautifying this stunning piece and hope to see you again on our channel and yeah, see you soon, bye!